I'm just going to bolt this thing open and toss around in. I'm ready. <laughs> Again. <laughs> that was great! Let's take a look at that recoil. Now as we look at the target, I need to point some things out. We didn't want to shoot collectible ammo, but luckily the owner actually had five reloads available for us to use. Now these were full powered, however they were brass and copper bullets, so they didn't make quite as much of an impact on the three quarter inch steel targets we had. Now keep in mind it's three quarter inch steel, four of them weigh about 26 pounds each, two sandbags on the rig, so about uh, coming up on 130 pounds. So just keep that in mind when you take a look at the following. Now this third round was actually a bubble bullet. We made it by setting a 1 8 inch tool steel rod into a brass bullet. You can see its significant performance increase. Our tool steel wasn't as hard as the original steel cores, and probably a quarter of the mass. So with a near punch through and massive buckling from this round alone, I'm quite certain original ammo would have torn straight through these plates. The video you have just seen is one segment of an existing longer episode. One that details the development, design, operation, and overall history of this firearm from the Great War. Please consider taking the time to learn more through our regular program.